Happy Friday, everybody. Max Scoville filling in for Akeem with your fix of entertainment news. Just like everything else, Hulu subscriptions are about to get more expensive. WB Discovery CEO David Zaslav thinks that properties like Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, and DC are underused, and Sir Ian McKellen shall not pass into retirement anytime soon. Let's get into it. Do you like saving money? Well, if so, I have some terrible news for you. The price of Disney Plus and Hulu subscriptions are both officially going up next month. This isn't coming totally out of left field. It was hinted at in an earnings call and officially previously announced, but Hulu subscribers are just now getting an email and in-app notification that these changes are taking effect and unsurprisingly, nobody is too happy about it. Starting on October 12th, Disney Plus's ad-free price will increase from $10.99 a month to $13.99, and Hulu's ad-free plan will go from $14.99 a month to $17.99 a month. The ad-supported tiers of Hulu and Disney Plus, which are both priced at $7.99 a month, will stay the same for now. Hulu's live TV plan is also affected, and the ad-supported plan is jumping from $69.99 to $76.99, and the ad-free plan is going from $82.99 to $89.99 a month. So yeah. That sucks, and everything continues to get more expensive, but if you're trying to save some money, go follow the IGN Deals X slash Twitter account. There are occasionally deals on streaming subscriptions, but you can also find other weird items like hot dog cookers and circus peanuts. You know, just the bare essentials. Speaking of massive media conglomerates doing things to annoy us while making their shareholders richer, David Zaslov, the guy who's been running Warner Brothers Discovery since the merger finalized last year, commented on how the company has been handling some of its most iconic properties, like Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, and DC, and apparently they're being underused. The Wrap reported that while speaking at the Goldman Sachs Communicopia and Technology Conference, a real event that someone got paid to name, Zaslov stated, quote, we talk about the great IP that Warner Brothers owns, but for us, the challenge is that our content, our great IP, Harry Potter, DC, Lord of the Rings, that content has been underused. Now, before you roll your eyes so hard you get dizzy and fall out of your chair, hold on, because it gets worse. Zaslav elaborated saying, quote, we haven't done anything with Harry Potter for more than a decade. We haven't done anything with Lord of the Rings. We think there's a lot of shareholder value in attaching a 10 year DC, uh, a real plan around DC, bringing Harry Potter back to HBO for 10 consecutive years, doing multiple movies of Lord of the Rings. Okay, so maybe what Zaslav is saying isn't flat out wrong, but let's break it down a little bit. If you're talking about Harry Potter as in the boy who lived, the character, and then the events that took place in the seven books and eight movies that bear his name, then sure, the last thing that WB did on the movie front was the Deathly Hallows Part 2 back in 2011. However, if you're counting the larger wizarding world Harry Potter universe, give me a break. Since 2016, we got a trilogy of Fantastic Beasts movies, the last of which premiered literally last year. Meanwhile, WB Games published one of the best-selling games this year, Hogwarts Legacy. The 10-year deal that Zaslav mentioned is a new adaptation of the original books that would potentially dedicate a whole season to each volume, which would be cool, unless they leave out Peeves the Poltergeist again, in which case, why even bother? As for DC, that property hasn't been dormant by any stretch of the imagination. Just in terms of feature films theatrically released this calendar year, we've gotten Shazam, Fury of the Gods, The Flash, and Blue Beetle, and Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is still slated for this December, though that could change. Last year, we got The Batman and Black Adam, and we would have gotten Batgirl had it not been relegated to streaming and subsequently canned by Zaslav himself as a tax write-off. Again, this is just on the live-action movie front. There's also a steady stream of direct-to-video animated movies, shows, both live action and animated, and of course, video games. Oh, and I think DC still makes comics. Now, regarding WB's handling of some DC properties, I could agree with saying they're misused, but underuse really doesn't seem to be the issue here. Lord of the Rings, meanwhile, is another story, and breaking down who owns the rights to what from J.R.R. Tolkien's fantasy universe is harder to explain than the Silmarillion, but TLDR, WB owns the movie rights, as well as the rights to make games based on the movies specifically. Amazon got the rights to produce a show, which is why Rings of Power is on Prime Video, while the Peter Jackson movies are on Max. And meanwhile, Embracer Group owns the rights to a bunch of other stuff, which is why the Gollum and the Return to Moria games don't actually look like the movies. So yeah, what Zaslav is saying makes sense from a certain point of view, but it's also a little bit concerning for anybody who likes the idea of, I don't know, new ideas. Ironically, it's also completely at odds with Disney CEO Bob Iger's recent statements that suggest taking a quality over quantity approach and admitting that maybe the glut of Marvel and Star Wars shows diluted focus for viewers. What do you think? Are we ready for Tom Bombadil, a Lord of the Rings story? I think we are. I think get Lin-Manuel Miranda to do a Tom Bombadil movie. 
Okay, so let's say they do make more Lord of the Rings movies. Who's gonna play Gandalf? Well, if Sir Ian McKellen has any say on the matter, probably Sir Ian McKellen. The 84-year-old actor recently spoke to Variety about his plans for retirement, specifically how he doesn't have any. The actor responded, quote, retire to do what? I've never been out of work, but I'm aware that any minute now, something could happen to me which could prevent me from ever working again. But while the knees hold up and the memory remains intact, why shouldn't I carry on? I really feel like I'm quite good at this acting thing now. So yeah, the real question now is which role will he reprise first? Gandalf, Magneto, or the fan favorite feline, Gus the Theater Cat from Cats? Remember Cats? Gus is the cat at the theater door. I know you were trying not to, but I thought I'd remind you. That is your entertainment fix for Friday, September 8th, 2023. If you like Godzilla or Kurt Russell, go check out the trailer for Monarch Legacy of Monsters. And if you don't like Godzilla or Kurt Russell, well, I say good day to you. Have a good weekend, everybody, unless you don't like Godzilla or Kurt Russell. In which case, have a weekend.